Contemporary security challenges, the African perspective, was the theme for day three of the discussions. The Minister for Justice, Johnston Wusinje, one of the participants in the discussions, said that the visionary leadership is one of the things that helps in building sustainable institutions. He emphasized that there are other models that could be used to help build institutions, but there is no international law that governs the way in which a country establishes its institutions. There's no universal template for doing institutions. There's, I don't think there is any. But there are textbooks, there are ex examples, there are those who have gone through these 200 years, 200 and something years. Uh, all those are very good research material, they are all good reference material, but there's no universal template for doing uh, whatever institution you want to make. Uh, our own institutions that you asked about, the RDF, the NISS, the REAB, the, it is absolutely important that we have laws and rules, laws establishing them and rules governing them. Minister Wusinji added that these rules and regulations are what helps each level to work with one another while complementing their efforts rather than conflicts. Despite this, retired Major General Frank Mugamaji, the Acting Reserve Force Chief of Staff of Rwanda Defence Force, says the role of the community is paramount in the functioning of these agencies. The community, the citizenry, are beneficiaries of good security environment. But we cannot forget, like I, again I mentioned earlier, the involvement of security in provide, of the citizenry in providing security. If you miss that, whether you are in police, whether you are in the army, whether you are in, in investigation departments like some of us here, you have lost. In fact, you make it difficult for yourself to... to, to. So involvement of the community in, prov in, in providing Conditions that lead to that security, to a stable and security situation, is paramount. After the 1994 liberation of the country, there was only one unit of the RPF in Hotenyi, force in Rwanda. The Rwanda National Police is one of the institutions that was born later. It also collaborates with other institutions, according to CP Christopher Wizimungu, Commandant, National Police College. Certainly, we do our job as usual at the police. We, co we collaborate with RIP. When there is a crime, we support RIP to arrest criminals and they go through the process. But when it is the police, we do also have a mechanism within the police to ensure that police officers do not abuse uh, human rights. We have an inspectorate of services within the police, which has uh, enough capabilities police officers who are trained and uh, enough means to ensure that to investigate cases of abuse, even to arrest uh, officers who uh, abuse uh, human rights. These security agencies in conjunction with more than 200 others have established in the country since 1994, all of which aim to promote lasting peace, security and national development. The Minister of Defence, Major General Albert Morasira, concluded the training by saying that the talks show that the world is facing challenges that require cooperation in tackling them. The symposium has further underscored that the world is becoming ever more complex and volatile. We have recognised the need to be ever curious, curious, learn to live with ambiguity and be open to a world of possibilities. We were reminded that the COVID-19 is indeed a common divisor among the security challenges we face today. It, is, it has wreaked havoc across the world killing more than 3.3 million people today, devastating families, families and communities and disrupting economies and political dynamics within and between countries. And yes, 
The pandemic has revealed fault lines in every country, and we have reason to fear for our future, but also make hard choices to turn around this situation and put our people back on peaceful, healthy, and sustainable path. This year's National Security Symposium, the eighth of its kind, was organized by the Rwanda Defense Force Command and Staff College in Yachinama in Musanze District. The primary purpose of the symposium was to deliberate on the matters of national, regional, and continental security interests.